Hi guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the KO Transformers Masterpiece MP21 Bumblebee, uh, otherwise known as Bumble here. Um, this is going to be basically a comparison review with the Takara figure. Uh, I'm not going to be, you know, doing a full review of the figure other than to compare it to the Takara version. Uh, so first, let's start with the boxes. Um, as was the same with the Wheeljack figure, um, this one also has changed the words from Takara Tomi to Takasa Tony, and they've also changed the MP21 to CMP21, so basically they replaced this Autobot symbol with C. Another strange thing is they just didn't include this, you know, print here of Transformers. It's just missing on the KO. Uh, for the rest of the review, I'm going to have the KO on the right and the original on the left. Uh, but it looks like they excluded this for some reason. But other everything else was basically the same as it was on the uh, Wheeljack figure. Now we'll take a look at the top here. Same thing, Takasa Tony instead of Takara Tomi. Uh, C instead of the Autobot symbol. And we'll take a look at the side, same thing. Takasa Tony instead of Takara Tomi. And C instead of the... Now here's where the real difference is. The KOs, they, they've stopped putting on the hologram, the officially licensed, you know, this one is a Volkswagen officially licensed hologram. They just did not even bother. I don't know if it was too expensive or they were just trying to cut costs or maybe it didn't matter to them, but on the Lamborghinis they were including that and it was actually a pretty good copy of the the uh, hologram, but now they're not including that. Uh, back of the box, pretty much the same other than the uh, CMP21 here and uh, that's about it. So that's pretty much it for the box. Um, they definitely are marking their boxes differently. So let's uh, get it open and take a look inside. Now I, I received this figure a while back. I'm gonna get rid of the box here. I received this figure about you know two weeks ago, but it was missing this whole packet of stuff and. I contacted the seller and they were nice enough to send this to me but the, the fact of the matter is the KO was was missing an entire package of stuff so that goes to show you you know the the quality control on this is, is not so great thankfully the seller was nice enough to include you know send this to me um, you know this is this is the same as the Takara version one of the main differences is uh, they've changed the word here to say CMP21, uh, but also it's folded differently. So the original is actually a little bit wider. This one folds down to a pretty small square. The other one's about you know a uh, quarter page size. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure why they're folding it differently. You know, it just seems like maybe they're trying to compact it or something. But it's definitely a smaller size. Uh, I also noticed that the trading card is definitely not as good this time. This is the first time I've noticed that the KO did not do a good job reproducing the card. If you can see Bumblebee's head, hopefully it comes across camera. It's kind of blurry. It actually looks like there's just bad print. Uh, the back is fine. You know, it kind of looks the same. I don't really see anything different other than the CMP21. But on the front, I mean, the image quality is pretty poor. But, hey, what do you want for a KO? <laughs> there. Uh, you also get the um, rear view mirrors. And a bonus. Once again, the KO is including the exclusive bonus that you get if you order the pre-order the uh, more expensive version of the car. This is coming for free. I mean, it's a little tiny piece of plastic. I don't understand why we had to pay extra for, extra for this anyway. I think it comes with the coin when you order from Takara, but, you know, this should be something that's just included. I don't know why Takara charges you for this. So that's a really nice add-on. I'm glad that they include this. Uh, for the figure, pretty much all the same stuff that came with the Takara. You got the uh, figure itself, the alternate face right there. You've got the uh, 
exosuit, spike exosuit. Now, it already looks like this is pretty loose. It actually wants to pop off the uh, little uh, helmet. It won't stay on, so that's kind of a quality control issue. Uh, get this out of the way here. And here you have the gun. On the surface it does look like, uh, you know, pretty much like the original, but I'll have to see how this fits in his hand. And you also have the uh, rear uh, wheel cover. So pretty much all the same accessories that you got with the, with the original. Uh, so what we'll do is start off with the um, exosuit figure, do a little comparison, and then we'll move on to the bumblebee figure. So here on the left I have the Takara version, and on the right I have you, the uh, KO version. Uh, you, you can just ignore this uh, Autobot sticker, I added that on, that's not part of the original. Uh, one of the first things, you know, obvious problem is, is this, popping off. Oop, wow, okay. Well, he just came apart completely. Um, he's pretty loose, his joints. I mean, this one's not, I mean, it's definitely tighter. But, and, you know, he's had this problem where the arms pop off. That was kind of true for almost all of them. But this one, you know, the arms don't pop off, but the head pops off. So... Well, okay, I guess that pops off too. So it doesn't seem like they really fix. See, it kind of crumbles in your hand. I really don't like that. I don't like that this comes apart. But again, this is KO. <laughs> it's not the original. But uh, it does, it does, you know, have a pretty close facsimile to the original. The colors, the paint, you know, look exactly the same. The paint details, you know, it's really very similar in uh, paint. Yeah, th this guy wants to just fall apart. I'm, I'm not a fan of this. It really doesn't want to stay together or stay transformed. A lot of things don't tab in together. So right off the bat, you know, you kind of got some poor quality with this thing. Um, but that's not really the main attraction for this, so not a big deal. Um, probably going to leave this guy in uh, robot form or exosuit form and not transform into the car and then we'll, we'll maybe when we uh, transform the cars we'll uh, get back to that um, but basically very close facsimile other than the joints are loose and got some you know issues like this yeah well, that's not very good all right so we'll get uh, the Takara version of Bumblebee over here, and then we'll start doing that comparison. Okay, guys, we have uh, both figures here transformed. Um, uh, you know, transforming this really reminded me of how smooth and, and well done this figure is. The Takara version, it, it really does transform well. It comes together perfectly, and there's no, well, Okay, now there's a gap, <laughs> but uh, pretty much it's, you know, no gaps, very nice uh, transformation, and it's, it wants to come together, right, you know, but this guy, he really, it was kind of a struggle to get him to, like, line up, and he's still not quite lined up, but I don't know, it's, it's something feels different about the way, I mean, even though the parts look the same. It definitely the tra the transformation felt a little different, you know. Um, another thing I'm noticing as I'm looking at the two figures, the KO is definitely a little has a little less paint. So it, what it looks like is the the blue, I believe it's this blue translucent plastic underneath it's sort of showing through because they didn't put enough paint on it so this the yellow on the Takara is a little deeper and a little thicker and it does show you know that okay it's a little less thick on the Autobot symbol 
probably flip this over. You know, I probably should have flipped that over. Actually, let's let's do that. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I I normally I do not transform uh, figures on camera in my reviews because. Uh, I just feel like when I watch reviews, that's the part that I like to skip. You know, it just takes too much time, and I'm really not interested in seeing how it transformed. I just want to see what the figure looks like after it's transformed or in, in vehicle mode and in oh, what's happening here. I obviously didn't get this back together right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is one of the reasons I don't transform on camera is when things don't go quite right you kind of waste time in the review and and then people are kind of just left stuck watching you do this fiddle with your figure all right so let's just ignore that for now it's not, it's not something's not lined up or don't want to click into place here There we go. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely lighter. It's not. It's got. It's not. It doesn't have enough paint, and uh, it also, you know, the, the fitment, the panels aren't coming together the same way as this guy. I mean, now that I said that, this this one's got a little bit of gappiness right here, but overall, definitely much tighter. Uh, fitment. Now I am gonna kind of show these just for comparison's sake. There's the, the car version. I haven't tried to take this out. Let's see if it actually even comes out. Yeah, this is one of the problems. The whole the whole KO figure wants to just explode apart. Doesn't want to stay together, and this back piece does not want to come out. It's, it, it's, I'm trying to get the license plate out. It's it's really tight in there. It might even be glued. No, it came out. Okay, it's just very tight. Um, so let's get this in here. Whoops. There we go. Oh boy. Well. Looks like there's an issue here. The KO license plate <laughs> does not fit. It w it just pops out. It falls out. So they, they, obviously there's a f you know a molding or fitment issue here that's preventing this from fitting perfectly, and that's why this has kind of fallen out. Oh, that's disappointing. I think the problem is the 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 recess inside of the wheel is not deep enough to hold or or the black piece is not thick enough. Well, we'll pretend like it fits. Get it on there. And then we'll do this guy. So, even the wheel, the, the paint is it's like not as glossy or something. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, this this is really a surprise to me. This is the first time I've seen the KO not good, you know, not that good. Another thing I'm, I'm noticing is the wheels. The back wheels roll pretty well, but the, this front wheel barely wants to spin. This one's not spinning, spinning at all. It's actually kind of stuck. Uh, and look at that, the paint looks like they missed some silver paint here so this is the first time I'm really seeing the KO with uh, more than just a few little flaws it's actually quite quite a lot of you know errors almost like just bad QC you know I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how bad this is so this wheel the one that's stuck it looks like there's a little extra plastic in here Either it didn't get cut away or it, when it was molded, maybe a little extra piece got stuck in there. So that's what's preventing it from spinning. That's, that's 
Oh, it doesn't need, yeah, see, it doesn't even want to roll. If you look at this guy, he he likes to, he rolls very well. But this one, yeah, his wheels are stuck. That sucks. Oh, man, that, that's terrible. This side's not as bad, but because of that wheel is stuck, it doesn't even want to roll straight. Oh, that's horrible. Well, I'll probably try to shave this or something, but... This is, uh, that's what you get with a KO. <laughs> um, Alright, well that's about it for vehicle mode. Uh, you do, actually, well you know what, let's go over this, because maybe this won't fit. This is the KO here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Just had to make sure this was the KO. Um, this is supposed to fit back here, in the bottom. All right, it just barely holds on, so that's good. Doesn't have any problem with that. You can put the gun on the bottom. Um, now I did, I did find that this actually fits in here. The, the alternate face, yep, still fits. So you can still put the alternate face down in the bottom of the uh, vehicle. That was that was not a advertised feature. That's something I saw, and I, I thought that was easy way to store it. So I'm comparing the two faces here. It looks like the KO face, hopefully this is coming across camera, the KO face definitely has a little less paint. A little, it's almost like the paint's a little less thick. Um, but whatever, it looks okay. But what's great is you get this face. You get the battle mask for free. And I like this because I can make it look like the G2 Bumblebee without having to purchase a G2 Bumblebee. So uh, this is really cool. I like that they included this. Um, it does fit. I'll show that in robot mode. It does fit on the robot. Um, but that's basically it for uh, vehicle mode. Oh, the gun fell off. So maybe it's not a great fit. It's all right. It's, it's a little loose compared to this one. This one's real. It's a perfect fit. So, we'll, uh, We'll move on to uh, robot mode. I'm, I am not going to install this, so uh, it does look like it's basically the same. And I'm assuming it's going to fit in here, in the in the side. I haven't had any issues so far with the KO rear view mirrors fitting, so I'm not going to remove these. I'm going to leave them in. Uh, I'm planning to uh, get rid of this guy, um, but. I'm going to leave that out for now and just assume that the rear view mirrors are the same. Alright, so we'll get these guys transformed and uh, be right back. Okay guys, we're back from transforming. Uh, I, I really do love the transformation on, on this figure. Uh, even the KO, I mean, it, it's just fun to transform. Um, the, the robot mode of the KO is definitely a lot better than the vehicle mode. Uh, except for one really annoying flaw, which is right on the Autobot symbol. There's a little missing paint there. Um, I don't know if it's glue or what, but it's it's very that's kind of disappointing, you know. The the like the place that you're looking at. At least if it was like on the bottom or on the side, it wouldn't be a big deal, but. This is like the main focus, focal point of what you're going to look at on this figure. And it's got damage, you know. That's kind of irritating, kind of disappointing. Um, but but other than that, you know, not bad for the robot mode. Uh, again, you know, obviously this same issue with the colors. Nothing's changed, obviously. So this is a little deeper yellow and a little more, um, the paint a little thicker. Well, let's take a look at the guns now. Uh, they both fit just fine, no problems. Uh, they go into the hand, um, no problems. So that's good. And uh, pretty good, pretty good in in, in robot mode. I I'd be very happy if I didn't have this guy. You know, I'd be pretty happy with the robot mode, having paid thirty dollars. I might have even been less than that. Uh, to have them shipped. My only issue was they didn't ship the uh, instructions and 
trading card with the figure, and that was kind of disappointing. Um, but uh, despite that, uh, still very nice in robot mode. I did, I did take this off. Let's just put that back on. Ah, oh, well. And that that fits fine. So again, it looks fine in uh, robot mode. There's no issues there. It's just a slightly different uh, hue, or I think it's a gloss the issue. The, this doesn't have enough glossy paint on it, but it looks okay. Um, yeah, pretty good. You know, I'm I'm happy with the robot mode. Let's change out the face here. Oop. Sorry about that. Uh, he does he does tab in well. There's not nowhere where you know things don't tab in well. And here you got the bumblebee ghost face. That's <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, so what we're gonna do is get the get the alternate face. You know these are so similar to the existing face. I'm not even gonna bother. Um, they do look about the same, so. No reason to do that, but I do want to put this one on just to show you. You know, it really is cool. I, I really like that look of the battle mask. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, what else do we got here? That's about it for uh, for the robot mode. I mean, it, it's a good figure. It's, the joints are tight. You know, I don't have any issues with loose joints. This one's a little loose, but once you lock it in, it's not a problem. You can you can get him posed into whatever you you want here. So, about the same posability. Uh, it's just, it's neat that it came with the face. I'm, I, I kind of like that. That's, that's a cool, cool add-on that they included that. Uh, so that's that's kind of uh, it for the robot mode. You know, I really do think that the KOs didn't do as good of a job this time. They they kind of skimped on, I guess, paint and maybe uh, QC. You know, checking things. The fact that I didn't have <coughs> all the parts, excuse me, in the bag. It's kind of a <coughs> telling thing that. The KO company is really not checking their box, you know, they're just putting the stuff in, shipping it out, spending as little time, money as possible to uh, sell these things. So, of course, I mean, they're selling for $30, so they're not going to spend a lot of time. But for what you pay and, you know, free shipping, you know, I, I really can't knock this figure, even with this flaw right here, which I could probably just cover up with a sticker. You know, I could probably get an Autobot sticker and stick it right on there. Um, or if it really bothers me, you know, don't even use it. I could just leave it flipped over, and then, and then it's not an issue. And actually, I could put a sticker on that side. So you've got you've got a couple options if you're not a fan of, um, you know, this thing. So I'm going to do something a little different uh, in this review. I'm actually I, I'm. I've got uh, 75 subscribers, and in order to celebrate that, I, I'm actually doing a giveaway. So the giveaway is for subscribers only. I, you know, I will be checking. Um, and the way you can win this this figure right here, the the KO. Um, and again, um, I'm probably going to keep this <laughs> the little battle mask. But everything else you see that that I showed you during this review is going to come with this figure. Uh, you know, in the box and everything, you're basically going to get this as it came in the box with, with everything except for this uh, battle mask here. So the way you, way you uh, enter the contest is, uh, first of all, leave me a comment on, on this, on this uh, video. Um, you know, wh whatever you want to say, you know, if you like the review or whatever comments you might have. Then um, the second part is, um, I would like you to go talk to your buddies, your friends, your other Transformers uh, fans who you you know you talk with, and get them to subscribe. And the way I'm going to uh, kind of show proof that uh, you, you know you got them to subscribe is have them leave a comment. 
have them leave a comment with your name, your user ID, uh, in the comments of below on this video. And, and basically, whoever gets the most subscribers to uh, leave a comment and actually subscribe, I will be checking to see uh, if, if, if you get the person to subscribe, uh, will win this figure uh, with all the accessories here and the, and the box and the, you know, the instructions and the card. Uh, basically, uh, all you have to do is uh, send me your address. Um, we'll, we'll do that outside of YouTube. I'll, f I'll figure out how to do that. So uh, definitely, guys, uh, try to enter the contest. Um, and you know, leave me a comment down below to, to get started. That's, that's the first step. And then once I see a comment saying, you know, you know, enter the contest or whatever, then I'll be looking for other subscribers to, to you know, join and also to leave a comment with your name in it. All right? Um, definitely leave any, if you have questions on this, um, leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll try to answer it. Um, I'm going to let this contest run. Uh, till uh, end of uh, basically Labor Day. So after Labor Day weekend, uh, we'll be we'll be announce. I'll announce the winner. I'll actually uh, put out a video, announce who the winner is, and uh, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for leaving comments. And you know that that's kind of why I'm doing this is just to uh, thank you guys. So make sure if you guys are watching, um, you know, paying attention you're going to be able to get this figure. Okay? Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm still waiting on uh, the X-Trans bots. Oh, I'm sorry, not X-Trans bots. The DX9 uh, D06 carry figure, their Rodimus Prime homage. That thing keeps getting delayed. You know, I wanted to review that back in June. Then they delayed it to July. Then they delayed it to August. Now it's almost the end of August, and no figure. So... Doesn't seem like that figure is coming any, out anytime soon, but as soon as I get it, I will review it. That will be, um, you know, hopefully my next review. I don't think there's any releases in between. Um, just so you guys know, my my collection is only Takara figures. The only reason I'm getting the DX9 figure is the Takara Rodimus Prime sucks. You know, kind of has a lot of issues with it falls apart, has some QC issues. So I'm trying to replace the Rodimus Prime figure with the DX9 figure. Uh, so that's why I'm getting it, that's why I'm reviewing it, and that's hopefully that'll help you guys make a decision on which Rodimus Prime you want to get. Uh, but please definitely enter the contest, and uh, good luck to everyone, and uh, we'll see you at the next review. Bye.